Hey YouTube, thanks for watching my video on the Yamaha XT250 Dual Sport Flat Tire Repair Kit coming together. And I, oh, first my disclaimer I'm no moto vlogger. I don't do writing video, videos, I don't really edit videos. It's, I try to do things one take only take. If I misspeak, let me know. I'll correct it in the description. And video production quality on XT250 all day is low. That being said, ask me any questions. I'm always happy to answer. And yeah, putting together my flat tire repair kit. And really because of this. Here we go. My new Tusk. D Sport ADV tire replacing the Dunlop D606. And when I started going multi day stuff, the fact that I wasn't field capable to fix a flat started to bother me. And so I got this new tire. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I really, and I've been out riding with somebody that's gotten a flat. And just miles from the truck and ridden back. and But I'd like to be able to be field capable and fix a flat. I know I've only had one flat in five years. That's because I was running through construction a lot and picked up a nail. And it was really tempting for me to just go get this D, uh, this D Sport thrown on so I could ride. But I've been getting my last licks. And on the Dunlop, which has kind of been fun because <laughs> you can throw your back end around pretty good when you start getting getting down there on the treads. But at any rate, I'm taking advantage of mounting this myself. So with that, let's look at the kit I'm putting together. So in my little zipper, you know, used to be a manicure kit. I have, now I'll be carrying a tube, but worst case scenario, I also have two patches, self-adhesive patches, um, stem removal tool, and a couple of ProMotion bead buddies, which go on your rim, Gives your bead uh, opportunity to slide down there and sit more in the drop center. You want to keep that bead in the drop center when you're changing spoon on your tire. Give you as much room as you can. And so if you have someone helping you, they can always hold it down. But if not, bead buddies on that little guy. And like, yeah, some of this stuff is from bike. Oh, I'll have a little scuff. A scuff tool in here probably where is that oh, right there scuff it up so it patch adheres better but hopefully like I said I'm carrying a tube and hopefully I'm just swapping tubes and after that I have some lube and you'll see a lot of people use different things Windex or but I looked at it and went you know what I Watch some. I watched a lot of videos, um, and they make it look so easy. But one of the things that makes it easy is having some lube. So this was the smallest tube I could find. Yeah, it, basically that stuff is you know people that are doing a lot of tire changes on the regular they get a gallon, but uh, this is four ounces. Even that's a lot to carry. So I think I'll. After I use it mounting this new tire, I'll clean this out and shoot some in here. That's a one ounce. And that'd be better to carry. A little hotel shampoo. There you go. Next, I'm going with, again, oh, I've been watching a lot of videos. Thank goodness they're there. I'm learning a lot of techniques that I know they make it look so easy and I know it's not, but I'm going to try to incorporate a lot of these nice techniques to make it as easy as possible for my first time. One thing is to have nice spoons. I'm going to have three. And all of the ones that, like I said, make it look easy, they're all using three spoons. So I'm getting this 22 millimeter combo. I get my 19 and my 17 
tomorrow. So I'll have my three spoons. In fact, the next video I, video I do will probably be after I've mounted that tire. I don't think I'll do it while I'm mounting it, although that might be hilarious. But, uh, gosh, I don't even have a tripod. It's just me holding an old iPhone, so we go low. Um, then for air, I always thought I'd just carry my handy-dandy specialized air force 2 i love this pump it uh, nice thing about it is it pumps on both strokes and uh yeah it's gotten me uh, patched and filled and I, I should that's what i should do is fill this tube when i'm changing this tire with this and see what i think sure it'd be fine but I say this I got I didn't I got this to pump up automobile tires and top them off and and that but I have used this and when I pulled it out and I was like wow that is pretty light in fact the difference between these two things is not remarkable a lot less than you would think so um, I got this off of Amazon. Oasser? I don't know. Anyway, pretty light. And I've used this, I have used this on short rides because I'm not really worried about sp space and my l s luggage and weight and much. So I take this with me. I air down when I hit the trail. When I come back out, I air up with this and it's worked great. And... Um, yeah, it's, it's not bad at all. So what's it on? 2020, I was using it to blow up a trailer tire, but yeah. So like I said, I've used it on short runs, on three dayers, you know, space is a premium, space is a premium, so, but I think, the, in fact, I've been looking, I really want to go camping off this trail, I've ridden a bit, a bit of this trail in um, central Utah, Arapine Trail, 350 miles. I've driven just a little bit of it, and that's mostly double track. There's some single track, mostly double, but man, it was. I really want to go camp off there, and you know, hopefully, you never use this stuff, but I'm gonna be ready. I think, uh, yeah, all coming together. Like I said, I get my two. I get my two other spoons tomorrow, and that's it. I don't really have anything else now. I'm and I'm changing it. I'm gonna replicate field conditions, meaning I'm gonna do it on the ground, with just on the ground, and be used to that. Not on a tire stand. Not not prop it up on anything. Just kind of like I said, practice I'll at least do it once before I'm out in the middle of nowhere and need to do it. So that is it. Uh, again, my next one will probably be post-tire mounting, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, again, thanks for watching my videos. Always appreciate it. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I keep getting them. I don't know what I'm up to now. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, ask me any questions, and that is it, as always, on XT250 all day. Ride safe, everybody.